killer. Well, I guess I can go ahead and point out really quick at the beginning of the video that this episode of Boruto, uh, wasn't bad. I actually kind of liked it, mainly because of some of the character interactions and the characters that were in the episode, but regardless, I still think it was a pretty good episode. Animation seemed okay, uh, you know, just everything just seemed pretty decent, if anything, above average. Uh, th there might have been one, like, nitpicky things that I didn't really like about the episode, but the episode does begin off, and Boruto and, and the rest of the class are taking their written exams for their grad graduation exams. <clears throat> and it is right then, then and there that they're talking about, like, oh yeah, the whole point of the written exams was to uh see if you can gather up intel like a like an actual shinobi should actually do right boruto gets a fucking perfect score and he didn't even know what was the point of the fucking test kakashi like shows up right behind chino as he's grading the fucking test and he's like uh oh, uzumaki boruto got a perfect score chino's like i didn't even know you were fucking there kakashi motherfucker and then Kakashi being, you know, himself, he's like, huh, seems a little bit too overconfident, so if those of you who are watching Boruto or just know Boruto's fucking character, you do realize that he is a little bit overconfident at times, and there's actually a lot more to him and about his character and how he affect the other students in the class when we get to the end of the episode, actually. So the, the episode resumes back, they're all out in the field, and Shino, Anko, and Konohamaru are explaining to the, to the class that uh, they need to wear these bandanas on their head, and if they take them off, uh, then I, I, I think that's like an automatic failure, I don't really remember. But all three of them are wearing like these chest guard things, which if any of the students uh, like touch them, then, well, basically, the, like Konohamaru, let's say, isn't allowed to, you know, retaliate back. And then Kakashi shows up. Kakashi shows up, he's from the shadows. Uh, <laughs> everyone's freaking out like, yo, what is the six Tokage doing here? Boruto's talking to him like, oh, old man Kakashi, what are you, what are you doing here, man? And then Kakashi's like, well, I'm, uh, I'm the proctor. I'm the proctor and, uh, you, you need to get this bell from, from me if you want to pass. And then, of course, if you watched part one or if you're just a Naruto fan, you kind of know that all the kids are going to complain like, Oh, so you mean like only one of us is going to pass? Uh... Uh, before that actually happens, Iwabe actually acts like a fucking Hokage tard and he's a fanboy of the Hokage. He knows everything about all the Hokage because he points out the fact that oh I can't believe we're gonna fight prodigal genius as a child. He was he was a Jonin at age 12 and it's like yeah we already fucking know that, but I don't think anyone else fucking did, right? So anyways, Kakashi explains the point of the headmans and stuff like that and what the fuck they're wearing and the bells and the whole episode. All the kids are figuring figuring out that they're what they're doing. All the proctors and what they're doing, they're doing on purpose, and that's basically to separate all of the kids just for the sake of doing it, right? Just to make it easier, obviously. To an extent, of course, it's going to be easier, but they're all like academy students. I'm just like, why are they like, why are they treating them like they're already like tuning level, which is, which is, and I, I say that, and I'll get to it, and the reasons why I say like tuning level, because. I'll get to it. I'll get fucking to it. Um, I want to point out really quick that even though this episode was obviously uh, half an hour long, this episode actually went through a lot of the stuff that they wanted to show very, uh, very frequently and very quickly. So if I'm like talking really fast and like skipping a lot of stuff, that's just because a lot of stuff that they showed didn't really uh, either didn't really matter or that's exactly like as I told you it was. So 
uh, Mitsuki and Shino are actually fighting each other. And I really want to, I want to really say this really quick, that I think it's BS that they didn't show us that that Mitsuki versus Shino fight because like Mitsuki's like the the son of Orochimaru, and we learned that from the last episode. If you didn't realize that, uh, if you didn't already know that, so like he's the son of Orochimaru. And he like flares up and like a whole like chakra aura. I, I don't know how to explain it, but he like flares up in like an aura. And she knows like, oh, maybe I need to get a little bit serious now. And I'm like, like really? <laughs> like I get it. Like he's the son of Orochimaru, but I, uh, I don't know. Like it's been stated that Shino right now as an academy teacher is Jonin level. So. Are you saying that if you need to get a little bit more serious, that Mitsuki is like almost Jonin level, like, like at least like high tuning level? Like that's a little ridiculous, right? Uh, Boruto leads on on his own. Sarada and the class rep Sumire are fighting, uh, are fighting Konohamaru and Iwabe mentally. Uh, the Ino Shikacho, Ino Jin, Shikadai, and Chocho are fighting Anko, and Boruto's fighting Kakashi all by himself, right? Uh, he's using stuff like what we've seen from part one with Naruto uh, versus Kakashi, so he's using Shadow Clone Jutsu, stuff like that. Uh, we do see his signature move, I guess you can say, Boruto Stream. Where he combines like a like a wind style jutsu and a lightning style jutsu on his kunai, which again the move looks cool and it actually caught Kakashi off guard. Uh, just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. So it it caught Kakashi off guard. Uh, he's pulling off the same tricks as Naruto did when he was younger. Kakashi even pointed out like, oh yeah, like father like son. So. You two are similar in a lot of ways. You two are just alike. Borto's gonna complain. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, no, we're not. We're two different people. I don't know what you're talking about." And I guess like Borto gets to a point where he like almost is tiring out Kakashi, which to an extent it makes sense because Kakashi is an older man now. But that's almost bullshit because fucking Hiruzen was old as shit and he was able to go toe to toe against Orochimaru right like like maybe not like entirely but still you know still even if even if Orochimaru was like extremely sick or whatever right anyways I'm not a power scaler <laughs> anyways we go back to Kakashi fighting Boruto Kakashi's standing there and he's he, he, he this entire time he's obviously you know, fighting against Boruto, Boruto does this stupid ass Boruto stream, but the whole time he's explaining like, yeah, you're actually like really powerful Boruto, you're really strong. Uh, obviously not stronger than Kakashi, but stronger than all the other academy students. All the, all the other academy students, Boruto is stronger than at least most of them, right? If not all of them, right? That's what he's saying. Um, then Kakashi pins Boruto down on the ground with, uh, with his hand behind his back, kind of keeping it there, and his fucking foot on Boruto's fucking stupid ass head. Um, and then he's saying like, "Yeah, you you have the power of a Genin. No, you actually are surpassed. You've actually surpassed that already. You're you're as strong as a ch as a Chunin." And I'm like, "Really? Like, mm. like I don't care. Like if the whole like s like Seven Swordsmen missed arc." I don't care if like all of them were like at least like above tuning the close to Jonin level because they're the seven swordsmen, right? If if they're supposed to be like almost Hokage level, like I, I don't fucking care, but it's like this is Boruto. Boruto has always been made out to be like overpowered for almost no reason. <sighs> Whatever, right? So the episode ends off with that. The episode ends off with that, and I'm like, why? Why is this a thing? Why you gotta fucking like quote Boruto to be to be tuning level, bro? That's fucking ridiculous. Like, can you not? So the episode ends off there. 
I'm sitting here, I'm like, why are you gonna fucking say that? He he says you have skill level of, of a tuning, bruh. And he goes off and explains, like, yeah, this is the reason this is the end of the line for you, you motherfucker. And I'm like, oh. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Uh, that's, <laughs> that, that's cool, I guess. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say other than they really like making Boruto overpowered or maybe they're just bad at writing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but whatever. I I, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end off the video here. I want to go fucking lay down. Not because I'm tired, but just because I, I just want to lay down. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed my shit commentary, you can subscribe for that as well. Uh, yeah, leave, leave a like, stuff like that. Whatever. I'm out. Peace.